wanted to do a quick video explaining the TikTok video that I made about the spell that looked like this one. I think this is it, yeah. This one. Uh, so I made a quick video on TikTok where I was mixing herbs and crystals and I didn't really explain what I was doing. It was just kind of like a quick, fun little video I wanted to do, but I actually want to talk about what I was doing. So what I was doing, I made a Make-A-Wish potion, I guess you can call it. And what I did was, I'm going to show you guys the herbs and tell you what it's for that I actually used. So in the video, I used cinnamon. I used, what else did I use? Uh huh. I used basil. I used the little gold stars you get from the dollar store, like the little pack of gold stars. You don't have to use that. I just used it specifically. I just used it because I'm extra. Um, and I'll explain what it was for. And then I have these little jars of crystals. I don't have one over here with me, but they're like, they're like this size and they're just like crystal shards. I used a base oil. This is olive oil. I used olive oil. I used this to mix and mash together the herbs to make sure that they can fit in here. What I did was so the, anytime you use cinnamon in a spell, it is to one, make the spell work a little bit faster. And then I also use this because it helps overcome challenges. So what this was, was a make-a-wish spell. And I focused on business and challenges. So the basil is for money. It's for business, prosperity. Uh, time is for money. I'm trying to manifest some money. <laughs> and the crystal that I used was for overcoming challenges. And the way that I, I recommend you guys get this book, Correspondences, Complete Book of Correspondences. This is my spell book. This is my spell book, okay? When I tell you, oh, I love this book. I got it from Amazon for like $32. This is a lifesaver, you guys. Like when I first started all of this stuff, I didn't know what anything was. And when you're doing spells, you guys, I can't stress this enough. Be careful about what you're using because for example, I went to do a spell one time and I was using lavender for like calming, for like a, a calming effect type of spell. And the girl that was with me, she's like, whoa, Lavender is calming, yes, but that's also like fertility because when you're calm, you're relaxed, you're fertile. So you have to be careful with what you're mixing. So this book allows you to look up what you're trying to do. This has what type of spell you're trying to do. This has plants, it has deities, it has colors, it has zodiac signs, I think. And so for example, if you're looking to do, I could say a karma spell. I feel like everyone wants to do, we'll talk about a karma spell. Okay, if you're trying to do a karma spell, it says the gemstones and minerals you can use. So like hawk's eye, tiger's eye. It says the goddesses you can use. Some people use deities when they're doing work. I do, I personally use Gaia and I use Ganesha. And of course I go to my, my father, uh, Siddhartha Gautama, which is, also known as Buddha. Um, so these are affiliated with this. These are the goddesses. They have the gods, the animal, the bird, the insect. So they also talk about the zodiac, the, any numbers. Like if you want to do something six times, like the kindness spell, you, the number six. Um, the plants, gemstones, goddesses, gods, birds, animals, marine life, the trees, herbs. So that's how I knew kind of what to use. That's how I've been learning. I study this book religiously. There's knowledge spells, and this is not a sponsor. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just letting you guys know what I use. Intelligence spells, oh, family, fear, fertility. It's, it just goes on and on death if you're dealing with grief. It also talks about um, your zodiac signs. What, what it's affiliated with. 
So like Capricorn, the tarot card is the devil because y'all are toxic. <laughs> um, it just goes over. You just learn so much from this book, you guys. I really would just recommend this book. Um, anyways, so what I did, I used those herbs. I, I put the herbs in here and the clear crystals and then I mixed and matched them together. I put them in paper because for some reason I don't own a funnel even though like this is a miss me spell. I do spells all the time. Look at this. A money spell or money is money oil but I use the spell to make it. And I don't have a funnel so I used paper to um, put this into here. Then I added the oil. I put a cinnamon stick in there because I needed this to work like immediately. Then what I did was I took my star. First of all, I didn't put this in the clip. I almost forgot. But what I did was I set my intentions before I put it in the jar. I set my intentions with the herbs in here. And I was just like, I made my wish basically or what I wanted it to do. And I blew. Not too hard because you don't want to blow the herbs. But I just like kind of like you put your breath on it. You set your intentions. And then I took the little gold stars. And I'm going to put the video in so you guys can see that too. But I took the gold stars and I made my wish. I made three wishes because for this spell specifically, the number was three. I made three wishes that all pertain to business and challenges, overcoming them. And I shoved them in here. I put the oil in. Then I took an orange candle and a blue candle and i melted them over the top to seal which the or the candle wax came off because my daughter just put this in her pocket to bring it to me and it rubbed off i don't think that matters because i mean it comes off and then my thing was whenever i shake it i can hear the crystals and when I hear the crystals, if you guys don't know the money chant, the money mantra, I sing that in my head as I can hear the crystal shaking in the little oil and, and all that stuff. And I will teach you guys the money mantra because I love it. I'll teach you that later. So same thing. Uh, I, I like to do my spells where they work every time you shake it. Like this is a miss me spell that has honey in it. But this honey is so thick. It don't move when I shake it. But because I specifically did the spell to where when you shake it, it works. I don't think it don't matter because it still works. So after I got done doing this, you know, shaking it before I went to bed, I, I did my little money mantra. And at like two o'clock in the morning, somebody was on the website and they placed an order. Boom, worked just like that. So, and I haven't shook it since. And well, right now I'm doing it now. So hopefully I get some more orders. But yeah, so that just explains the video that I did. I just wanted to do that real quick. So hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about, let me know too. Put it down in the comments. And I will definitely um, try my best to answer your guys' questions. So uh, if you haven't already, www.allthingsascension.com. I feel like I say that in every video, but I'm going to because... I love the website. So if you have not subscribed by now, subscribe because you're learning so much. So, all right, you guys.